This lock lets you select delays ranging from 1 to 30 minutes. The timer starts after you insert the key. Most of the lock's components are made of zinc. This semi-automated casting machine heats zinc bars to about 800 degrees. The molten metal is then fed into an injection system, which shoots the zinc into a part-shaped mold. The machine automatically refills the zinc bars as the metal is used. As soon as the machine injects molten zinc into the mold, surrounding tubes spray cold water to quickly cool and solidify the metal. Then the mold opens and ejects the part. The parts have rough edges, so they go into a vibrating tub. Inside, they rub against ceramic stones and an abrasive compound to smooth the edges and polish the surface. The parts are cleaned and painted on one side. Then they go into an oven to bake on the paint. The lock's main cam sets the time delay and the open window. The amount of time before the safe automatically relocks. Here they're drilling holes for screws, which will regulate the length of the time delay and the open window. Once the lock's components are prepared, assembly begins. Workers insert the lock cylinder into its shell and remove the key. Then they screw on a steel cylinder cam. When you turn the key in the cylinder, a cam winds and starts the timer. After the set time delay, the cam pulls a lever that releases the lock's latch. To build the lock's timing assembly, they first attach a spring to the timer plate. They hold the spring in place with a plastic retainer. Then they install a brass timer cam. The spring holds it in the lock position. A pin on the cylinder cam's lever sits on the timer cam. When the time delay is over, the pin releases the timer spring and the timer cam moves to the unlock position. This allows the cylinder cam to retract the latch and open the lock. They screw the plate with the spring and timer cam to the timer, which is gear driven like a mechanical clock. They let the timer run down all the way. Then they turn the spring four times. They mount the main cam, which sets the time delay and open window, on top of the timer cam. Now they begin calibrating the timer. First, they install an aluminum weight assembly that controls the timer speed. They run the timer on a testing machine, comparing it to the delay set on the main cam. If the timer runs too fast, they take some tension off the timer spring. If the timer runs too slowly, they trim down the weight assembly until they get the right speed. Once the timer is accurate, they screw it into the timer cover. The lock body contains the lever that retracts the lock's latch. It also has a brass electrical plug to connect a time delay indicator light. After securing the latch and lever in position with a cover plate, they install the timer assembly. The visible side is painted black, just like the visible side of the cover plate. Then they insert the cylinder assembly. They mount the lock on the door of the safe and hook up the indicator lights which run on AA batteries.